activated, you're gonna have a new menu over here on the left side that says Downloads. Underneath this menu, you have an option called Add New. Go ahead and click that, and this will take you to the screen to create a new product. Once you're at this screen, it's going to look just like any other WordPress post or page editor where we can enter the title. So let's call our product My WordPress Plugin. And then you have a main content area. This is simply the description of the product. So we'll go ahead and enter in our description right there. Then over on the right, just like you're used to seeing with WordPress posts, you have a category section that allows you to determine where this product is going to show up. And this depends on the configuration of your website. But let's say that we have it in our plugins category. And if we want, we can simply click add new category and add in another category if we wanted to create one at this time. We also can have the tags. So let's call it tag 01, tag 02. So these are the tags that we're going to apply to this product. We can also set a product image if we want, and this uses the same WordPress feature image system that you're used to with WordPress posts and pages. Now, the main section of the download configuration that we need to look at is this right here. In this box, it says download configuration. And here we're going to set the price of our product as well as set the download files that the buyers are going to be able to download to their computer after purchasing the product. So we have two pricing methods. One is the simple method, which you can see right here, where we can simply set the price of the product to say $10, $12, $12.50, anything we want. Though we also have a variable price option that allows you to set up multiple price options. So let's go ahead and enable that for a second. So now what you're gonna see here is a place where you can enter a price option name. So we'll call it price one, the price of this option, and then we can add in a new price, price two. And we'll set this one to $12. So this allows you to give the buyer, when they purchase the product, an option of choosing which price they want to purchase. Then we're gonna go into depth in this in another video called Configuring Variable Prices. So for the for this video, we're going to go ahead and just simply leave it at simple pricing, but note that the variable pricing system is there. Now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the download files. These are the files that the buyer gets to download after they purchase the product. And there are two things that we need to set. First is the file name. And in this case, let's just call it plugin files. So you purchase a WordPress plugin and you get to download the plugin files. So this is the name that they're going to click on after they have completed their purchase and they're viewing their purchase history or their purchase receipt. And now we also get to upload a file. And so this is simply the file URL. So if you have an external file that you would like to use, you can simply paste the file here, or you can click, click the upload a file button, and it will give you a media uploader where you can choose a file from your computer to set to the product. So let's go ahead and upload file, and we'll go over here, and let's just choose this one right here. This is the file that we're going to set as our product download. And as soon as that finishes uploading, Give it just a moment, and we'll click Use This File. And this window will disappear, and our file URL will appear in the box. And there it is. Now note, you can have as many files as you want, so we can simply add a new file, and maybe we'll call it this one PSD. So you purchase the product, and you get design files with it. And just for demonstration purposes, we'll just copy our URL in there, and you can have as many as you want. So you can have three, four, five, one, etc. If you add in a file that you don't want anymore, there's a little X over here on the right that you can use to get rid of it. Now, we also have an option called File Download Limit, and this determines the number of times that a buyer can download these files after purchasing. So if we leave it at zero, this means it's going to be unlimited. But if we set this to, say, five, like this, then after this buyer has purchased this product, they will be able to download each of the files listed above five times. After they have reached their fifth download, they will be unable to download again unless they purchase another copy of the file. Now, we also have one other option right here where it says disable the automatic output of the purchase button. And this will simply turn off the add to cart button on the product page. This might be useful if you have a custom implementation for your theme or you simply want to display the button in a different manner. So let's go ahead and click publish on this download and we're gonna take a look at what we've just created. We'll give it just a moment to publish. Okay, so now once it's published, we can go ahead and just click View Download. And here we are, we've been taken to the front end of our site. 
where we can see the product description, the name. If we had a thumbnail, we would see the product thumbnail as well, depending on the configuration of your theme. And we have our purchase button right here. We can simply click purchase and you can see it was added to our cart. We'll get rid of that one, which we added earlier. And we can go ahead and go to the checkout process. And that's all there is to adding download files to easy digital downloads.